My name is Caleb Peck, and these are my two brothers, Brady and Alex. Ever since we were little kids, we've been obsessed with anything to do with off-road. You're watching Peck Brothers. This is our story. some fuel here at Adventure's first stop, Maverick. We're on our way. Our vacation's already started. We're so excited, we can't even hardly breathe. Jeep's all loaded up here. She's even cleaned off. Truck's loaded up. We got fuel. We're headed out. have made it to Beaver. Getting some fuel here. We picked up Alex, so he's here now. I made it. Finally. It's cold. Yeah, it's still cold. We're waiting for the St. George hurricane warm weather to catch us. Who on earth is gonna tell me when it's gonna get warm? Alex. I don't know. When's it gonna get warm? At least this JK didn't have to open the window to feel it. Wow! Feel the wow! That's something we got to address here. Because when it's cold, that ain't fun. No. It makes it seem like a race vehicle, though, a little bit, huh? It'd just be great if we don't have a hard top. Because <laughs> we'd be lifting it off, <laughs> trying to fill it. No, I'd be siphoning it and then drinking a bunch of gas on accident. I get 200 feet a gallon. <laughs> you don't need fuel. No. You just need a haircut. Just a haircut. Or a hat. Or a hat. One or the other. Oh. They said I couldn't come on this trip unless I brought a hat. You need to put your hat on right now. My hat's on just fine. Flip the camera. What's the damage? What's the damage? $53 and one. Who was running the pump? With one cent That's, left. Listen, I I've it. had it. Look, 53 bucks for 12 gallons? That pure dirt. Hey, your, wow. your account could probably cover that part. You know what, guys? <laughs> I'll get the difference. You got it. I want to talk to the guy that's striking the deal and buying oil for the United States right now because problem is nobody knows how to make a deal. Tell them guys, hey, we can't afford 60 bucks a barrel, all right? I'll give you 15 or I'll buy it somewhere else. Ah! Got him! You talk them down like the guys on KSL. Get it for a little cheaper for us little guys trying to have some fun. We made it to the hotel. Finally. And it's only 11? 11.15. We're in, on being here at like one, so we're doing real good. We're in terribly good shape. Do you think that it was going to be a little warmer than this in St. George? <laughs> That's about what I was expecting. How warm is it? Probably like 40. 40? It'll probably get up to like 65 tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it was like 8 degrees last night at my house. I'm ready to go in, but I think they got the, the special for two people and we're sneaking forward. So, me and Caleb are right not here. No, we can't afford anything else. Where are the days in? I think we're staying for what? Like six bucks a night or something like that? It might get bed bugs, but yeah. hey, whatever. Well, we got a couple ant traps from Walmart, so we'll be fine. Sounds good.
Nice bump there, Eddie. Thank you, thank you. stickies they stick they're like, doing like really good they are they're brand new and they're getting gripped like crazy i thought they'd need to be broke in no they they seem to be doing good if they get better than this it's just gonna get better <laughs> Scrambler doing? You're doing okay. Not pretty good? Yeah. Running like a dean? Yeah, the old lace springs are flexing. They're doing pretty good. So the trail right now we're running is called Wayne's World. It's on the farther east side of Sand Hollow past chain reaction. It's rated a six on a difficulty rating. This is the first trail since we've had to redo a bunch of parts on the front end of my dad's JK. So, hopefully we don't bust nothing. But if we do, it's all Yukon parts. The shafts, the hubs, everything is Yukon and their lifetime warranty. So if we bust something, at least it ain't gonna cost us nothing. Start turning passenger. Yeah, go passenger. There you go. Come. 
That's better. That's the line. Floor mats go into the. There's ATF going everywhere. Your Jeep was here? Yeah. It's kind of hurting me a little bit. I I need a Jeep. Yeah, you do need a Jeep. I'm having a lot of fun even though I don't have a Jeep. But man, it's pretty fun with one. Yeah. Well, the weather's a little warmer down here. This is nice. So we're down here at Motec in Las Vegas because we can't get my dad's tap shift to work and they basically know all. The wiring harness in it is an interfaced, uh, what do they call it, a MoCam? Really what it's doing is translating all the signals from GM to G and you know relaying all that. So the body control module speaks with the computer everything works abs it's all emissions compliant and really it takes a really really smart guy to be able to intermingle all of that put it all in one package to where goofy guys like us three can actually put that together in our garage but of course we bought the gen 4 motor that he didn't suggest but we got a good deal on it we pulled it out of an escalade it makes so, it not like the hardest swap that you could possibly do in a jk was the motor that we chose to do so the cool thing Back there is the Jeep, and in that we have a MoTeC wiring harness system that these guys build, and they normally, these people will just bring their Jeeps to them, MoTeC will install it, and then they'll just give them a final product. We wanted to see if we could do it. So 
That's and why obviously we, we could. That's why we bought that system. We got it to work. It runs. It's fine. They've been helping us like crazy. Yeah, they're but cool dudes down here. We just couldn't figure out the tap shift. And when the trans heats up, it'll make the cooling fan do weird things. So yesterday we overheated because the fan quit working because we're thinking the tranny got too hot. So we're just giving it to them because they know what they're doing and really taking the back seat on this one. Yeah, we're we're kind of just the little boys here that don't know what they're talking about. Kind of the peons, the, the kind of little kid that has the booger coming down his nose and just crapped his pants. That's kind of how we're feeling right now. Like how Caleb feels every day, that's all of us. Now. Yeah, I'm, we're all the little brother today. Yeah, so we're gonna let these guys do their magic and see if we can get that get tap shift. Yeah. That'll be sweet. We're gonna show you what these guys have going on. It's it's a pretty cool shop. Dude, every single Jeep in here has an LS. A new game plan for the black JK. We might, we might. I don't know. That's a lot to think about. <laughs> think about. We'll uh, talk about it on the way home. These Motec guys are so helpful. They know everything. So it's good to get down here, have them look at it, and we just want our tap shift to work, and it's still not working. So we got to figure out what to do. We might be updating the motor along with the harness and the operating system so we'll see so we're just feeling up just got back from vegas and we just found quite the rig Woo! we've seen this thing in videos wow it's a nice lady that's old mischief maker what's up i know it's we found her at the, the gas station with her rig her jeep's a little hard to miss it's yeah it's, amazing. it's real iconic it's it's better in person and then even in the videos oh, and it's amazing that. in the videos so just like to say hi to her and show you guys that rig <laughs> Look at this crap. It's dripping. Josh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Eating like kings tonight. Eating like kings. Two, one, Anything you knew. Two, three, I'm sorry. Hey, you ready for the Yeah, course? I'm ready. I'm, of course I'm ready. He's I know, not. I know the words. <laughs> Don't tell him. I am one, two, three, and four. Even the I'm best ready. go down sometimes. <laughs> right? Welcome to the 